Are you wondering what type of fruit will my Boston Terrier like? In this video, I'm gonna cover the five fruits Boston's love based on a survey that I conducted with over 100 Boston parents responding. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. Over there is Bella, my Boston of over 11 years now. She just had her birthday this month and she's looking really good. Today she has a vet appointment. Okay, today I wanna to help everybody who's thinking about like what type of snacks or treats can I give my Boston Terrier? So I just wanted to provide you with basically a list of fruits that most Boston Terriers like. Now, once again, every Boston Terrier is different, but this is the one that showed up the most in the survey that I did on the Boston Terrier Society Facebook page. Now, keep in mind, as far as a treat, these are all fruit, so they do have sugar in them. So you really wanna limit how much you're actually feeding your Boston whenever it comes to sugary treats, even fruits and you wanna follow what's called the 10% rule, which simply means you shouldn't be giving your Boston more than 10% of its calorie intake from fruits. But this 10% rule really applies to any type of treats. So for example, Bella here, I went to an online calculator just to see how many calories she should be eating in a given day. Now I do recommend speaking with your vet first, get guidance from them, they're gonna be able to give you a better idea, but that calculator is pretty cool. It'll be in the show notes below so you can check it out. Bella here, based on her weight and whether or not she'd been spayed or neutered, she needs about 586 calories per day. So based on the 10% rule, she should not be eating more than half a banana because she only needs 58 calories per day and half a banana is basically 60 calories. So I hope that gives you a little insight about how much you should be feeding your Boston. Now all references, kind of facts and figures that I mentioned in this video, you can check those out in the show notes below if you wanna dive deeper into it. So without further ado, let's get into the countdown. All right, coming in at number five, are strawberries. So based on the survey, a lot of Boston Terriers love strawberries and they're actually really good for them. They have high water content, they have some fiber, they also have some vitamin C. Now I do wanna say this, I went to Purina's website and one of their nutritionists there said, you know, strawberries have a lot of health benefits. There's been studies done in humans as well as other animals. There just hasn't been anything done specifically for dogs. So keep this in mind, if you're looking for a nice little treat, a strawberry would be the perfect choice. All right, coming in at number four are blueberries. Bella here loves blueberries and they're perfect little snacks just because they are a nice little bite size and they have fiber, they have antioxidants, they have vitamin C. And one thing that I found really interesting was on the American Kennel Club where it actually mentions antioxidants like those in blueberries help fight free radicals, which are responsible for cellular and molecular damage in dogs and humans. As an added bonus, studies show that adding antioxidants to a dog's diet reduces the effects of brain aging, which is great if you have a senior dog. So if you have an older dog, one of the nice little fruit snacks you might wanna consider giving it are blueberries because it's been shown to help. All right, coming in at number three is watermelon. This surprised me because I figured, I mean, I've seen a lot of videos where Boston Terriers are chowing down on watermelon, but it is the number three option as far as the most loved fruit. And it's great because it's low calorie, low sodium, fat free, cholesterol free. So if you're looking for a healthier option versus like one of those store-bought dog biscuits that you might be getting, a watermelon could be a good option. Now, keep in mind, you do wanna follow that 10% rule because giving your Boston Terrier too much watermelon can cause diarrhea. Coming in at number two are bananas. While Bella here doesn't eat a lot of bananas, they do have some health benefits. They have vitamin C, vitamin B6, as well as some potassium in them. Now you do not wanna feed your Boston the peel, obviously, while it's not toxic, it can cause some digestive issues. And another thing, if it's in the summer months, you could throw you know, little chunks of banana in a freezer and it's a nice little cool treat to give your Boston. All right, coming in at number one, and this is with overwhelming response, were apples. In this survey, I mean, it was like, what do we have here? 47 votes for apples, pretty much mentioned that their Boston loves apples. And one thing that I do wanna say is the seeds in apples actually have cyanide in them. So you wanna avoid giving your Boston Terrier seeds. I couldn't find out how many seeds, you know, would be considered toxic, but just avoid it all together because it could be harmful. Plus, if you have a little puppy, you're gonna wanna cut this up into little pieces anyway so they don't choke on it. So if you're someone who's like, what should I be giving my Boston Terrier? Try an apple, chances are they're gonna love it. Now, some other fruits that are mentioned, because like I said before, not every Boston Terrier is the same, so there might be a chance that your Boston doesn't like one of these fruits. 
Some of the other notable mentions include cantaloupe, mango, oranges, peaches, pears, and pineapple. So maybe try one of those and your Boston might like that. Question of the day, what fruit does your Boston Terrier enjoy? Put in the comments below, and this can just be an added list that people can go to for further references if they're trying to get ideas on like what type of fruit should they try to introduce to their Boston. One thing I do wanna mention before this video is over, I did see some people mentioning that they feed their Boston grapes. Do not feed your dog grapes. These are considered toxic, so just avoid grapes altogether. And if your Boston Terrier has eaten a lot of grapes, I would recommend calling your veterinarian just to see what they say you should be doing if that occurs. Now, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel just so you can get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. If you wanna learn more about Boston Terriers, check out this video, five vegetables that Boston Terriers love, or check out one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with Boston.